killing a mortal? This thing directly rushed at the immortal blood. Moreover, it was extremely vicious, turning into a streak of sword radiance. It hacked down, as if it was going to eliminate this blood. However, this bit of blood really was special. It was still, alive, possessing mysterious life force. Even though it was struck, it didn't burst apart. Instead, it was sure house finger bones that felt intense pain, immediately breaking. This made everyone's expressions change. This divine radiance was too tyrannical. Moreover, his severed finger was actually going to break down, the damage not that simple, actually about to turn into powder. Fortunately, at this time, this strand of immortal blood shone, entering his finger bones, recovering his injuries. Moreover, the broken finger was connected, quickly healed. This all happened extremely quickly. Dark red radiance flickered about, auspicious multicolored light surged, sure house finger immediately becoming just as good as before. Not only were his finger's bones healed, even his flesh regrew. This divine radiance is too terrifying. How is one even supposed to merge with it? The lunar jade rabbit pursed her small mouth, crying out in alarm. This was definitely not ordinary, this thing too terrifying. This was only a single strand of essence that seeped out of the immortal killing guillotine. If it was the entire thing, even a true immortal might be cut down if he came. For sure how, just this strand of divine radiance alone was already hard to deal with. This thing would make even supreme beings eyes red. Immortal blood is similarly shocking. If the killing intent wasn't refined away by the past immortal, removing all of the harmful matter, it would simply be unimaginable. Great Elder said, This was the truth. If the immortal blood directly flowed out from the true immortal's body, without being processed, then a single drop would be enough to wipe out people on Shurhau's level, there wouldn't be any suspense. The reason why he could refine it, merge with this drop of blood, was completely because there was only auspicious, beneficial matter left. Chi, divine radiance reappeared, throwing itself over, still rushing towards the immortal blood. With a kacha noise, sure how completely crushed the crystal, releasing the complete drop of blood. All of it landed on his left hand's forefinger, bright red and replete, like a shining blood diamond, looking like condensed multicolored clouds. Xiao. This time, that streak of essence unexpectedly rushed into his finger, merging with that immortal blood, continuously hacking about, frantically attacking. Under kaka sounds, not only was sure how's flesh badly mangled, his finger bones cracked apart again, the scene terrifying. This was simply a type of unendurable torment. Fortunately, there was the immortal blood to immediately recover Sure How's wounded body, instantly heal his finger, all of the damaged parts closing. Just like that, the divine radiance was like a streak of rainbow light, continuously rushing in and out, crushing Sure How's finger, and then that finger would regenerate again and again, hard for others to look at. Even the roots of my teeth are becoming sore from watching this. My scalp is becoming numb. There are goosebumps covering my entire body. These were Chao Yushin, Heavenly Horned Ant, and Lunar Jade Rabbit's evaluations. They had never seen such suffering during cultivation. His finger was continuously crushed and then regenerated. Sure House finger was refined again and again. His bone marrow, flesh and blood, and even bones, were continuously crushed and then recreated again and again. Eventually, his finger glistened with radiance, like the finger of an immortal, too extraordinary. During this period of time, that radiance continuously hacked at that immortal blood, repeatedly mixing together. This divine radiance was originally dark red, now even more striking, as if it had been soaked in blood. Eventually, sure how could already no longer feel pain, because it was already numb. However, that terrifying torment was still continuing. Still not enough. If this continues, I still won't be able to refine this streak of divine radiance. Sure how frowned. If not for having this drop of immortal blood, his left hand would have long been destroyed, impossible to preserve. That streak of essence was too terrifying, nothing it couldn't destroy. He cultivated the imperishable scripture, his body far tougher than those of others in his generation, yet it was still easily torn through. This wasn't because he wasn't strong enough, but rather because the divine radiance was too extraordinary. Worthy of being the immortal killing guillotine's essence, able to cut anything. Really is extraordinary, an invaluable supreme treasure. Sure how had a headache. If this continued, he would be tormenting himself for no reason. He couldn't do anything. The main reason was because his current cultivation realm was too low, while this streak of essence was too high level, not belonging to the mortal realm. In reality, his status in the mortal realm was already high enough, just that comparatively speaking, when faced with this non-mortal thing, he was still not powerful enough. Pong. 
Finally, Great Elder took action, suppressing it with his matchless magical force, giving Sure Hao time, some breathing room to think of a way. Lightning pool, refined for me. Sure Hao shouted. In the end, he could only use lightning. After all, the divine radiance was obtained from heavenly tribulation, so it should be intimate with lightning. The space between his brows shone, a small lightning pool appearing by his finger, collecting that streak of light inside, carrying out a refinement. However, soon afterwards, that streak of light pierced through the lightning pool, flying out. There was no way it would be destroyed, still tangling about his forefinger, attacking that immortal blood. He, it is gradually calming down. Great Elder cried out in alarm. It was because after a long time had passed, this streak of essence merged with that scarlet red blood droplet. The two interwove, turning into one entity, no longer separating. It is absorbing the essence of immortal blood, Great Elder said with a sunken voice. Sure, how tried to stop it, but it was still useless. The immortal blood also seemed to be absorbing this divine radiance, the two devouring each other, continuously mixing together, turning into one body. Of course, in the end, it was still the divine radiance that was in the lead, possessing a great offensive nature. It finally became peaceful. The drop of blood stored the streak of divine radiance, merging with Sherhouse forefinger. During this process, Sherhouse left hand's forefinger was destroyed who knew how many times. Now, it was sparkling and shining, dazzling and resplendent, relying on the immortal blood to recover. As a result, now, it became one with his forefinger. Sherhouse entered seclusion. After verifying that he successfully collected this streak of divine radiance into his left hand's forefinger, in the following few weeks, he continuously nurtured it, and then refined it, turning it into a part of himself. Meanwhile, during this half-month, Great Elder didn't leave, using his matchless magical force to help him refine it. In the end, that drop of immortal blood and the divine radiance broke down, turning into mysterious patterns, strand after strand entering every inch of his forefinger and its bones. My entire body's blood and bones, if I transform it all into this state, what would I even be scared of? Sherhouse said to himself. This was a type of transformation. He flicked his finger lightly, the power produced able to easily shatter powerful precious artifacts, completely effortless. Moreover, when he used all his strength, exhausting magical force, he could even fire a streak of dark red divine radiance from his forefinger. It destroyed everything, unstoppable, nothing able to withstand its power. With this finger as the starting point, I am going to make my limbs transform. At that time, my strength will increase greatly. He believed that at that time, his limbs would be heaven-reaching, able to dominate the entire world, display the most powerful strength. Sure how secluded himself for another two months, consolidating everything. In the end, when he was sure there were no more deficiencies, only then did he leave the pass. The divine radiance and immortal blood were indistinguishable with his left hand's forefinger completely becoming one. To be more precise, Sherhao's forefinger seemed to have undergone a rebirth after this, a transformation. Time to leave the pass. Finally, Sherhao left the pass. He was going to break into the self-severing realm, but not here. Instead, wishing to leave the pass, bathe in the blood of enemies, advance in the most intense battles. Of course, he also wanted to enter the legendary secret lands, search for great opportunities. For example, the Divine Medicine Mountain Range, Heavenly Beast Forest, Sea of Loss, Ancient Immortal Lands, even the most mysterious regions for the other side, the Ancient Burial Regions. Sure how didn't bid his old friends goodbye, directly leaving. He was going to leave the pass again. This time, he won't return without any returns. Divine Medicine Mountain Range, Heavenly Beast Forest, those two places surround a strange ancient land. I should walk around that area too. Sure how said to himself, Tugu Yulong obtained that beast skin map even attracting someone from the restricted region because of it. So sure how is naturally interested as well. This time, he was extremely low profile, not disturbing anyone. He found a day to set out, and then followed the main troops out. Now, every half a month or so, there would always be a great battle outside the pass. The foreign creatures wanted to invade, while the powerful beings in Imperial Pass wanted to train their men, allowing them to directly experience the terrors of the enemy, as well as the cruelty of war. This was so that one day, when something unexpected happened in Imperial Pass, hopefully, there will be an iron-blooded army, and not flowers grown in greenhouses. Even though he already left the pass once, sure how is still dazzled by the vast battlefield, the endless desert, countless dried bones. The desert itself was even dyed a blood color. When gazing from the distance, corpses could be seen one after another. They were everywhere, 
shouts of war shaking the skies. This time, they split into two groups. The people who came earlier had already fought for most of the day, leaving behind many skeletal remains, the sight too horrible to endure. In, Wang family's five dragons also came. Fighting here? Sure how was shocked. He saw Wang family's war banner from the distance, fluttering about in the wind, towering without falling. Soon afterwards, he learned that this was their punishment, requiring the five dragons to kill a certain amount of experts at their level, or else they still had to pay the price. Everything was because this clan tried to harm Shi Hao an imperial pass, violating the law that couldn't be defied, so they had to give an explanation. In the battlefield, Shi Hao watched from the distance. Only when Wang family's five dragons dragged back some terrifying creatures' corpses, returning to imperial pass, did he set out. They were the second group of people, it was their turn to enter the battlefield. Wang family's five dragons really are formidable. Just now, they killed King Clan top-level experts. The people were discussing amongst themselves, extremely shocked. Even though he didn't feel the slightest good intention towards Wang family's five dragons, Shi Hao understood well that they were definitely strong, incomparably terrifying. I'll fight a battle here, and then I'll head to the Divine Medicine Mountain Range, temporarily not returning to Imperial Pass. Shi Hao said to himself, Right at this time, a great roar sounded from ahead. Has Wang come? Let him crawl over. I will suppress him with a single hand. Daring to kill my side's king's lands, he is going to die under my hands without a proper burial. They're doing this again. Every time we come out to fight, there are always people challenging Huang. I heard that the foreign side's younger generation's ten great experts pretty much all appeared. However, what a pity, Huang never left the pass each time. Are there emperor clans who came? Sure how asked. There are. I heard that they previously came to the battlefield, killing all opponents, no one able to match them. Someone replied. That scene was too terrifying, he was like a slaughtering machine, lacking all emotion. Wherever he went, corpses piled up like mountains, blood flowing like rivers, no one able to stop him. From the side, someone said with a pale expression. What cultivation realm was he at? Sure how asked. Self-severing realm, but he killed self-release realm great knights, moreover not just one. It was as if no one could match him under the heavens. Someone else replied with a sunken voice. Was it Anlin's descendant or Shichuo's descendant? Or was it an emperor clan youngster from a different ancient land? Sure how asked. I do not know. He did not give his name. One person replied. It was because that emperor race youth showed complete disdain towards everyone. When that emperor race showed up, he only killed. Didn't say anything. He swept through all of his enemies, leaving mountains of corpses and rivers of blood in his wake. It was utter chaos. This was precisely the emperor race, who knows how many tens of thousands of years would pass before one comes out. But when they took action, no one could face them. All enemies of their generation would be wiped out. It was to the extent where they could overlook older generation figures, crossing cultivation realms to fight, unstoppable, able to bare-handedly tear apart all enemies. Where is he? Sure how asked. He wanted to know if this creature came this time. He came last time, but I do not know if he will this time. The battlefield is too large, at the very least. We haven't seen him in this region. That person replied. This time, Shi Hao came to fight, to sharpen himself, but he didn't want to expose himself, because it was too dangerous. Many foreign creatures were looking for him, seeing him as a target that had to be eliminated. It was because the foreign clans were warlike, all of them extremely bold and powerful. They couldn't stand being continuously defeated by one person, so all of the different clans' young cultivators were hoping for someone to take action, kill Huang. Moreover, they had to cut him down in front of everyone or else being suppressed by the creatures of a world they had always subdued was something they just couldn't accept. They have been searching for Huang all this time, wishing to defeat him in front of everyone, using this to redeem the successive defeats before. I believe if Huang truly comes, there will definitely be a great decisive battle. Someone said. It was to the extent where the foreign creatures already released a declaration, challenging Huang, to have him come out to fight a fair battle in between the two battle formations. Creatures of other levels wouldn't interfere. Only the younger generation's exceptional talents would step up. When the time comes, the foreign signs' ten great young experts will definitely appear, and for the sake of security, there will most likely be an emperor race who comes. Someone suspected. When Sher Hao understood more of the situation, he became quiet. He thanked these people, but didn't reveal his true appearance, continuing to slaughter his way forward, fighting with the foreign great troops. In this battlefield, Heavenly Deity Realm was the starting point. 
Those beneath this level didn't have the qualifications to fight here. One could well imagine that these were all carefully selected powerful soldiers. It was because in the outside world, those at the heavenly deity realm were already experts. Meanwhile, Void Dao Realm and Self-Severing Realm were the main force. Even though their numbers weren't as great as those in the heavenly deity realm, their strength was great, able to greatly influence the battle situation. As for cultivators at the self-release realm, they were all leading figures. They either sat on heaven-swallowing beasts or towered in the heavens above, fighting with creatures of their level. There weren't many experts at this level, all of them staying far above the great desert, the leading group of people. As for supreme being realm, there were definitely some who came, confronting each other in the dark. Normally, they wouldn't easily take action, because they would be targeted by experts on the other side, both sides on guard against each other. After sure how cross tribulation, his strength increased greatly. Even though he was still in the Void Dao realm, he already directly killed self-severing realm experts. That was why he could slaughter through the army, remaining extremely calm, not encountering any life or death dangers. It was because he could already be considered a top-level fighting force himself. Supreme beings didn't appear. Self-release realm cultivators fought in the skies above. Meanwhile, on the great earth below, sure how could weave through the army, instantly making large amounts of blood bloom. Behind him an expanse of white, corpses numerous. Ow ho! Right at this time, a red-haired monster targeted him. It was in the self-severing realm, body like a snake, head of blood-colored long hair dancing about, lightning shooting over. Pa! Its tail swept out, directly splitting the skies, hacking over like a heavenly blade, power exceptional. Sure how inwardly observed it. This creature was not ordinary in the self-severing realm, a great expert. He lightly raised his left hand, condensing a sword art, and then sliced forward. Chi! A streak of dark red-colored light beam shot out from his finger, not all that striking, but it was incomparably sharp, as if an ordinary dark red immortal sword sliced through the air. Sure how used the immortal killing guillotine strand of essence energy. It wasn't that he wasn't a match for this creature, but rather that he was deliberately testing it, wishing to see how the power of this divine radiance was. The instant he fired it, Sure how's heart even trembled. It was because this streak of essence energy consumed too much, incredibly shocking, making his face even pale slightly. One had to understand that his life force was flourishing, currently at the peak state of his life, yet in the end, the essence energy in his body almost dried up. He hurriedly devoured heaven and earth essence to replenish himself. On the battlefield, an exhaustion of divine force was definitely fatal. Hong, that Tin Zhang long snake tail swept over, splitting the void, the power tyrannica and astonishing. However, when the dark red divine radiance shot out, after striking that tail, something terrifying happened. The thick snake tail silently fell, blood spraying everywhere. At the same time, that streak of dark red divine radiance continued forward, striking that monster head-on, directly piercing through its body with P.U. sound. Ah, this human-bodied snake-tailed monster released a cry, not daring to believe what happened. They had just faced each other, yet it was almost hacked apart, its lower body disappearing. Sure how was shaken up. The immortal killing guillotine's essence energy was terrifying after all, unstoppable. One could see how heaven-defying it was. Only, the consumption was too great, it couldn't be easily used. Sure how rose up to face that heavily injured, weakened enemy. With a P.U. sound, a palm hacked out, removing its head, ending its life. This was too fast, a great expert was killed just like that. Sure how looked around him with a guilty conscience. No one noticed that he displayed that streak of dark red divine radiance. Even if they saw him, they still wouldn't think too much. Who would suspect this being a streak of essence energy from an immortal killing guillotine after it scattered? They all thought that it was just his strength being strong enough. This is a trump card. It cannot be rashly used. Sure how told himself? He was going to leave this for himself as a trump card to use at a crucial moment. In the end, Sure how slowly moved towards the place where his name was originally shouted. The battles in that area were extremely intense, quite a few people fighting to the death. Among them, there were a few young creatures who were especially ferocious, currently fighting a bloody battle with some cultivators on this side. Auho! There was one monster that resembled a lion, entire body covered in scales, its body covered in golden bone spurs, extremely fierce. In its surroundings, the ground was covered in broken limbs, it had killed many creatures. Have Huang come out? My brother has come to kill him. It shouted, fully displaying its ferocity, devouring more than ten people with a single mouthful. 
King race, moreover an extremely powerful king race. No one was its opponent, actually killing self-severing realm grade experts with void Dao Reem cultivation. Of course, it also paid the price for doing so, its entire body covered in blood, the blood belonging to both its enemies and itself. In its surroundings, there were a few foreign creatures who fought together with it, killing the people from Imperial Pass. If Wong came, would you need to challenge him? You would have been killed a long time ago, someone said coldly. Shi Hao raised his head, immediately recognizing that this was a youngster he had met during the distinguished meeting. Even though he didn't know his name, he recognized him. Then I will kill you first, for Huang out to fight. This lion roared. All of the golden scales covering its body shone, releasing King Xiong noises, throwing itself over. Qi. Its large claws brandished about, incredibly sharp, creating scars streak after streak in the void. It was extremely frightening. Dang. That youngster drew his blade, fighting an intense battle against it. It had to be said that this lion's strength really was great. After just a few moves, that youngster from Imperial Pass who was known as a stunning genius couldn't hold on anymore. With a dang sound, his long blade cracked under the lion's claws. Meanwhile, his body released a P.U. noise, producing a blossom of blood, his right shoulder and arm almost torn off. Ho! Oh. At the same time, this lion released a great roar that shook the skies. This was the famous lion roar divine ability, leaving that youngster shaken to the point where he coughed out large mouthfuls of blood, entire body flying out, primordial spirit almost shattered. In the surroundings, quite a few young experts from Imperial Pass became dejected, falling onto the ground. There were some who began to bleed from their seven apertures, dying on the spot. Sherhao's gaze became cold. He quickly rushed over from the distance with a raise of his hand, crushing downwards to stop it from killing that youngster. Did another one come to throw away his life? The golden lion released a low roar. It immediately released a roar after it opened its mouth, attacking Sherhao. Towards this, Sherhao unfolded his right hand, a streak of thick lightning firing from his palm, exploding here. It was even more astonishing than the lion's roar, shaking up this entire battlefield. Hong. This lion was blasted until its entire body was covered in blood, many of its scales falling off, entire head charred black, releasing smoke. Its gaze slackened, almost directly killed. Still didn't die? Your vitality seems to be quite tenacious. Sure how was shocked. In everyone's ears, this really was like sky-shocking thunder. Even such a powerful lion was defeated, almost killed on the spot. This youngster was too abnormal. I'll help send you on your way, Shurhao said. With a P.U. sound, he moved as fast as lightning. A lightning blade appeared in his hands, hacking out diagonally, forcefully tearing through the lion's defensive ancestral method, moreover removing half its head. It was just that fast, simple and violent, ending this terrifying vicious lion. The surrounding creatures were stupefied, especially Imperial Pass youngsters, all of them looking at each other in dismay. Who was this person? This was too domineering, killing a king race expert with just a raise of his hand. Not good, the Lion King's younger brother was killed. Someone roared out. The blue-eyes golden-scaled lion's younger brother was killed in battle. Hurry and deliver the news. A few creatures from the foreign side roared. It was clear that the status of the lion who died wasn't ordinary. Hurry and leave. This is one of the ten great young experts, blue-eyes golden-scaled lion's younger brother. Once he finds out its younger brother was killed in battle, it will definitely slaughter its way here. That youngster who was saved hurried said. For them, the foreign side's ten great experts were high up above, impossible to defeat. There was no way to face them head on. Only by hiding did they have a chance of living. It's fine. You all should leave first. Shurhao said. He came precisely for the ten great experts, so he obviously wouldn't think so much about this. He just wanted to defeat them, and then run, kill, and then leave. He didn't come to become famous, only purely wishing to kill these so-called ten great foreign experts. Ayo. A muffled lion roar sounded, shaking up this entire region. After news went out, it started the blue-eyes golden-scaled Lion King. In the distance, a small mountain-sized creature rushed over, its feet trampling the great desert until it shook violently, smoke and dust overflowing into the heavens. Since you came, then I will start with you. The ten great experts will be hunted down one by one. Sure how laughed coldly. Crazy winds roared about, sand and rock flying everywhere. The experts of this battlefield were all blown flying, unable to stand still at all. The great winds severed heaven and earth, cutting apart the skies. Ah! Many creatures released miserable screams. Their bodies were breaking apart, 
exploding. There were a few creatures whose limbs, skull, and other parts broke apart, all of this created by this powerful wind. A golden lion that was the size of a mountain was currently running. This was the might it brought with it, or a surging, heavily injuring the creatures nearby. Just like its name, it had a pair of blue eyes that were extremely deep, and also extremely fierce. Right now, they blossomed with green multicolored light, sinister and frightening. Its body was covered in golden scales, mane made up of extremely concentrated golden bone spurs, ferocious and savage. It ran over just like that, shaking up mountains and rivers. According to legend, when this clan fought a great battle in the cosmos, it was the most terrifying. A single roar from this clan would make many stars explode. The blue-eyes golden-scaled Lion King roared, saying, Who killed my younger brother? I am going to pull out your tendons, peel your skin, dig out your bone marrow. In the blink of an eye, it arrived. Many cultivators were injured, flying out, including foreign creatures, some directly having their bodies hacked apart by the astral winds. The blue-eyes golden-scaled Lion King went berserk, not recognizing friend or foe. Even if it was the creatures of its own side, they were still blasted flying, blood coughed out from their mouths. In the desert, sand flew about everywhere in the skies. Only sure how remained, not moving at all, feet like needles, nailed to the ground. Human, was it you who killed my younger brother? Correct. Sure how replied. Auho. After obtaining this confirmation, this Lion King released a great roar, erupting with anger, roaring out. It brandished its large claws, rushing forward murderously. At this moment, it was like a mountain. Its massive body descended, great claws covering everything below, completely covering the part of the desert Sure how was standing in. Sure how remained fearless, not using his most powerful few precious techniques, instead only using the true primordial record, using extremely common bone texts to attack, turning the rotten into the miraculous. Bone texts were dense, interweaving together, producing a golden lion. This was Sure how's attack, producing a vicious beast that was just like the other side. Fool, you're recording death. The blue eyes golden scaled Lion King roared. Its great claw descended, covering heaven and earth. Pong. The giant lion sure how produced collided with it, energy going berserk. Terrifying divine force surged, an intense collision erupting here. Dang. When the Lion King's sharp great claw descended, he saw that the human on the ground directly stopped it with his palm. It couldn't press down any further, let alone kill the other party. The blue eyes golden scaled Lion King was immediately stunned. It knew that it encountered a powerful individual, quickly shrinking its body to a zhong in length to confront Sure How in the Great Desert. It was because when one's body was too large, when facing a terrifying opponent, it would only expose all types of weaknesses, becoming an opening for the other party's attacks. When did a human expert like you appear? I don't care who you are. You will die. Your blood will be used as sacrifice for my younger brother. The blue-eyes golden-scaled Lion King said coldly. Human race experts are numerous. There are many who a brute like you have never heard of. Today, I will cut you down first. Sure how said purposely putting on a wanton and unrestrained display, looking down on this lion. Kill. The blue-eyes golden-scaled Lion King turned into a streak of golden light, immediately shooting over. It immediately used several ancestral methods, flames raging about its body, the golden flames wrapping around him. When it rushed over, the great desert turned into magma, everything within hundreds to a thousandly turned into a sea of flames. One had to understand that this was an ancient battlefield that had existed throughout time. The Great Desert couldn't be destroyed, yet there was this type of scene under the Lion King's attacks, it really was shocking. Blazing temperature burned everything. Not far out, there were some creatures who released miserable cries, flesh directly withering up. Then, even the bones left behind were burned to ashes. This was precisely his power. Regardless of whether it was heavenly deity or void Tao realm cultivators, nothing could contend against it, to the extent where some self-severing realm cultivators' bodies even dried up almost being set aflame. At the same time, this lion opened its mouth, ripples released. This was the lion roar divine ability. It was much stronger than its younger brothers, several hundred times greater. Moreover, five streaks of divine light shot out from its large claws, turning into metal, wood, water, fire, and earth, five elements vital energy to kill Sure How. This type of ancestral method was extremely powerful. Sure How remained incredibly calm, still using the simplest and ordinary methods to face his enemy. The great Tao rushed out, the rotten transformed into the miraculous. He was deeply experiencing the true primordial record. 
The main reason for this was because he didn't want to be recognized by the people here, using ordinary and simple methods to attack. No one can save you now. The blue-eyes golden-scaled Lion King roared. It was because it now believed that it sees the upper hand, while the human didn't display any divine abilities or secret methods that made it feel any threat. Is that so? I hope you don't end up regretting those words. Sure how replied. He suddenly erupted, entire body gushing with endless golden light. After the true primordial record erupted, he used divine force to directly face the Lion King. Moreover, his palm and fingers became sparkling, also operating the imperishable scripture. With these two scriptures, it was more than enough. Even if Shur Hao didn't use the Kuen Ping technique, Lightning Emperor technique and other methods, it was still enough to display unmatched might. Wind and lightning surged. Shur Hao condensed a fist imprint, using the two true scriptures as the base to attack the other side. Around his arms, thunder rumbled, scattering the Lion King's divine force ripples. Ping. Moreover, in the end, Shur Hao broke through the blue-eyes golden-scaled Lion King's defensive ancestral method, fist brushing past its body. With a dong sound, the blue-eyes golden-scaled Lion King staggered. It felt a wave of pain, even its bones seemingly broken. E, who is that young human cultivator? Why is he this strong, actually able to challenge the Lion King? The blue-eyes golden-scaled Lion King is one of the ten great young experts, ranked 10th, one of my side's brilliant, well-known geniuses with astonishing strength, yet he actually encountered his match today. The foreign creatures were discussing quietly, all of them feeling extremely shocked. The Lion King was also angry. It was one of the ten great young experts, yet today, it was stopped by a nobody, unable to immediately subdue him. If it was Huang who came, this was one thing. But regardless of whether it was this person's appearance, bearing, or even methods, it was completely different. The main thing was that Shur Hao used the Zhuyin clan's 72 transformations divine ability, changing his true self, even his blood energy and other things becoming different. His temperament was greatly changed, others couldn't recognize him. However, this Lion King really was formidable, fighting intensely against Shur Hao, going berserk here. Over a hundred moves were exchanged in the blink of an eye. If it were anyone else, they would have long been killed by the Lion King, crushed into a bloody paste by a single claw. However, when faced with that human, it couldn't kill him. That person remained calm and unhurried, neutralizing all of its attacks. Chi. After that Lion King erupted with anger, golden light erupted from its entire body. All of the scales actually left its body, turning into a rain of light, spinning about, hacking towards Shur Hao. This was extremely terrifying, space even collapsing, crushed by the rain of light produced by the golden scales. There was nothing that could stop it. Sure how still remained calm. His arms unfolded, hands producing imprints, using the imperishable scripture. His entire body became sturdy and unbreaking, truly imperishable, inextinguishable. A layer of protective divine light covered his body, stopping the scales. Hong. Suddenly, killing intent appeared. The Lion King's golden mane came off, all of them terrifying bone spurs, turning into golden war spears that hacked over. The scales and mane even came off? Haven't you heard of this before? A phoenix without its feathers is less than even a chicken, while you are only a big cat, even more unsightly. Sure how mocked. He used exceptional methods to blast aside all of the scales, moreover snapping the golden bone spears one after another. He quickly advanced, rushing murderously towards the blue-eyes golden-scaled Lion King. Confusion. Right at this time, the Lion King released a low roar, its eyes becoming a deep blue, like an abyss, about to suck one's primordial spirit in. This was an extremely frightening method. Everyone in the distance immediately became stupefied, not moving at all. It was because all of their souls went rigid, as if they were confined, about to be absorbed into the Lion King's pupils. This ancestral method was time-tested. The blue-eyes golden-scaled Lion King killed who knew just how many high-level enemies purely by relying on this. It could kill great enemies with even higher cultivation realms. Sure how's frontal bone felt pain, primordial spirit becoming sluggish, his body feeling out of sorts. This left him greatly shocked. His primordial spirit was already powerful enough, yet it was still affected. If it was anyone else, wouldn't they have their wills completely seized? Wouldn't life and death be under the other side's control? I'm going to skin you alive, get revenge for my brother. The blue-eyes golden-scaled Lion King roared. Aren't you getting happy a bit too early? Sure how laughed coldly. He only became sluggish for a moment, recovering in an instant. It was because his primordial spirit was powerful enough. Hong. Sure how brandished his fists, 
operating the imperishable scripture. His fists were resplendent like divine rainbows, blasting the world until it rumbled with noise. You, the Lion King hurriedly faced its opponent, doing everything it could to resist. However, this time, Sher Hao is different from before, using all of his divine force. He was incomparably powerful, the first fist already making it cough out large mouthfuls of blood. Hong. When the second fist descended, it released a great roar, entire body flying out. Sher Hao chased relentlessly. The third fist smashed down, the Lion King's entire body covered in cracks, blood covering its body. When the fourth fist descended, the Lion King cried out. This wasn't a lion roar, but rather a scream of shock it couldn't help but release out of fear. This opponent was too frightening, exceeding its imagination. It almost broke apart, many bones in its body breaking apart. When Sherhouse fifth fist descended, the blue-eyes golden-scaled lion roared angrily, doing everything it could. However, its pair of claws still exploded, forcibly smashed apart. After the sixth fist descended, the Lion King was in despair, unable to resist anymore. It could only watch as its body broke apart, and then exploded. Its primordial spirit wanted to escape, but it was grabbed by that youngster. In the end, the hands moved together, pressing forcefully. With a P.U. sound, the Lion King lost its life. All of the creatures were stupefied. The last six fists forcibly killed the Lion King, shaking up this place. Everyone couldn't help but tremble. My sides, Lion King was killed in battle. Heavens, one of the ten great young experts was killed just like that. This immediately created an uproar. Sure how turned around to leave, earth to inches, disappearing in the blink of an eye, entering the distant battlefield. It was just that simple, not even leaving behind a name, fighting with just the identity of an ordinary human, killing the Lion King. How could this be? Even one of the ten great experts was killed. Could it be that we really have to invite an emperor race? The nine heaven sides cultivators are too arrogant. Someone said resentfully. The blue-eyes golden-scaled Lion King was killed in battle, throwing this place into chaos. A young pride of heaven from the other side died just like that. It truly was unexpected, triggering a huge commotion. The creatures of the other side were shocked, simply not daring to believe this. It was because the blue-eyes golden-scaled Lion King died under the hands of a completely unremarkable youth. They had never heard of him before, this death too sullen. A group of people roared angrily, rushing over murderously, quite a few of them older generation figures, to the extent where there were peak existences at the self-severing realm here. They immediately slaughtered their way over. Apart from this, not long afterwards, roars of anger even sounded from the heavenly dome above. There were great knights of the self-release realm who learned of this, all of them rushing over as well. It was as if a hornet's nest was stirred, the other side angered to the extreme. However, on Imperial Pass side, there were great knights who slaughtered their way over as well, stopping those terrifying experts. They were aggressive clans, so now that there were people from their side killed, moreover their king races, known to be one of their younger generation's ten great experts, this was a type of humiliation for them. Find him. I am going to kill him. Someone shouted. There were more than a single one of the ten great experts here. They originally came to surround and kill Huang, but in the end, a nobody... A human they had never heard of instead killed one of their kings. This is intolerable. Could it be that this generation of ours really is too weak, continuously suffering defeats? Even one of the ten great experts was killed. A creature roared out. The magnificent army was charging murderously. In the desert, there were creatures everywhere. From the distance, it was as if a sea was crashing over, but what splashed out wasn't an ocean spray, but blood. The cruelest great battle was being carried out in this world. It wasn't just this region, it was the same in the depths of the great desert that couldn't be seen. Shouts of killing filled the skies, the scene incredibly ruthless and brutal. As a result, finding sure how really was difficult, there were just too many creatures. The main reason was that no one remembered him too deeply. Meanwhile, during the process, he changed his appearance several times, becoming different people. Sure how experienced too many things, encountering different opponents, however, Ever since he left the pass, he felt deeply shocked, feeling that his past battles were far from this. Even though this wasn't the first time he came here, he still felt his soul shaking, his body greatly shaken. There were too many creatures, all of them fighting, cries of war everywhere. Powerful individuals who were normally extremely powerful, in this place, were like straw men, their lives constantly being reaped. Heavenly deities became foot soldiers. On this battlefield, they were the lowest level existences. Even though there were many, many people here, 
they were the ones who died the most. Void Dao Realm, they could rule over a region outside, quite a few of them even considered sect masters, yet in this place, they still couldn't prevent death. Corpses fell one after another, hot blood surging, corpses everywhere. No matter how many enemies Shi Hao normally had, it still wouldn't compare to this place. Many well-known figures would fall in the blink of an eye, corpses piled up like mountains. At this time, Shi Hao felt a feeling of bleakness, a type of loneliness, a type of distant feeling. From the past until now, wars continued unendingly. Just how many corpses were buried in this great desert? There really were too many to count. The great river in the distance was rumored to have originated from the nine netherworlds yellow springs, but it had long turned a blood color. It flowed through the great desert. It carried corpses, divine blood flowing through it, giving everyone a terrifying feeling. There were countless creatures, from the enemy, as well as cultivators from Imperial Pass, death everywhere. In the distance, a blood moon suspended above the horizon, appearing just that striking. Blood soaked the great desert. Bleak bugle horn noises rang through the skies, killing continuing incessantly. No matter how many years passed, Sure How still wouldn't forget this scene. The impression it left him with was too deep, engraved into his very soul. It was because there were just too many creatures who died, all of them powerful cultivators. They were reaped like wheat, like crops under a butcher's knife. Without experiencing this type of bloody battle, how could one comprehend what was known as cruelty? This wasn't the first time Sure How took lives, but when he came here, his heart still trembled, feeling like his past confrontations were too peaceful, couldn't be considered much at all. In the past, when he fought enemies, it would always be cutting them down one by one, carrying out a so-called confrontation. However, in this place, he weaved in and out, bathed in the blood of countless enemies. Kill, he roared outwards. In this place, iron armors flickered with cold light, golden spears releasing chilliness, the slaughtering ruthless. Angry roars shocked the heavens, composing the cruelest war song, shaking the heavens above and earth below. Those who don't fight on this battlefield can't be considered men. Someone laughed loudly, many weapons inserted into his body. There was a spear stabbed through his chest, arrows piercing through his shoulder plates, a long blade stabbed into his back, an iron sword pierced into his abdomen. Despite this, that male still laughed, extremely heroic. He coughed out large mouthfuls of blood from his mouth. Even if I fall in battle, it is still worth it. I already killed more than ten Void Dao Realm foreign bastards. Aha. His face was covered in facial hair, staggering about as he moved. Those who don't come to desolate border aren't men, have no courage. What can a normal battlefield be counted as? Only the desolate border is a place where heroes rise up. An elder was also laughing loudly, his beard completely white, mouth coughing out bloody suds. Even his heart was beaten rotten, coughed out from his mouth. There were too many wounds on his body, clearly unable to hold on much longer. It was to the extent where there was even a metal arrow nailed into the space between his brows. Fortunately, it didn't completely pierce inside. This elder also killed many foreign creatures, but his divine force was exhausted, just like that male, already unable to endure much longer, about to die soon. You lowly things, so stubborn, daring to kill so many of our side's men, if you aren't willing to yield or become servants then just accept death. In the distance, a dried-up elder flew over, slapping in this direction. His palm force was astonishing, blasting the great desert open. Sand rushed into the heavens, covering all of the creatures from Imperial Pass underneath. Bastards, this old one has already killed my fill, so even if I die in battle, I'm satisfied. Just come. The robust male roared. There were weapons stabbed into all parts of his body, all of them trembling right now. That elder coughed out a mouthful of blood, also saying with a bitter smile, this grandpa is going to fight you to the death. Kill them. Don't leave a single one of them behind. Even further out, someone released a low shout, ordering for their side to charge and kill. The elder who made the great desert break apart with a single palm wanted to end this as soon as possible. He, it's Marshal Heavenly King. The one ranked fourth among the ten great experts, Marshal Heavenly King came. Many foreign creatures shouted, greatly stirred up. Sure how secretly hurried over, Sneering as he said, you came at just the right time, I was just looking for you. I came precisely for your so-called ten great experts. It was precisely because he saw Marshal Heavenly King's whereabouts that he hurried over here, just in time to see the robust male and elder enter a desperate situation, about to be killed. He decisively rushed forward to provide assistance. Not even a war god can save you, just accept death. In the skies, the shriveled elder who threw himself over released a great roar. 
His palm blade was tyrannical and berserk, like a sky-shocking wave. Even from far away, the pressure already made the large male and elder cough out large mouthfuls of blood, the bones within his body even about to break apart. It was because they were arrows at the end of their flight, while the elder in the sky was a powerful self-severing realm expert. Is that what you said? That even if a war god came, they still can't be saved? Do you really think you're anyone special? Sure how arrived, standing in front of the overflowing sand wave, taking action in the flying sand and stone, a fist smashing into the sky. This was a strike carrying his rage, blood energy rushing into the heavens. The profound meanings of the imperishable scripture were operated to the extreme, battle strength erupting. Ping. At this moment, a muffled sound rang out from the skies, then, that shriveled elder staggered backwards, his mouth full of blood, as if he saw a ghost. At the same time, his face fell, sweat appearing on his forehead. It was because that hand of his cracked apart, and then exploded with a P.U. sound. Then, under his shocked eyes, a large hand reached out from the ground, covering this place, sealing him and immediately pulling him down. You. He was trembling. He was a self-severing realm expert, his strength powerful, yet right now, he was restricted by another, his magical force scattering. Kacha. Sure how wrung his neck with a single motion, and then blasted through his primordial spirit, killing him on the spot. Everyone became stupefied. A creature that was this powerful was just killed that easily? You dare. Right at this time, Martial Heavenly King Wufong arrived. His head of silver hair scattered down, heroicness flourishing, a layer of silver radiance covering his strong body. He was incomparably resplendent, as if a war god descended onto this world. His pupils were extremely sharp, staring at Shurhao. Someone under him was actually killed this easily. Haha. Sure how laughed. Last time, he had already exchanged attacks with this person. They looked calm on the surface, but he knew that he injured Martial Heavenly King. Right now, Martial Heavenly King didn't know that the one before him was Huang, and that was why he was even more angry. Even a nobody dared to feign viciousness before him. Last time, he carried out a short exchange with Sure how. At the time, the two could be said to have ended the battle with lightning speed. Both of them using their most powerful extreme arts, condensing over a hundred moves into one, carrying out a decisive exchange. In the end, the moment he withdrew from the battlefield, he began to cough out large mouthfuls of blood, taking on serious injuries. During this short period of time, he had always been recuperating, cultivating in seclusion. He felt like he had evolved on a biological level, advancing, unexpectedly gaining great benefits from that battle. After all, he was a disciple of the few undying existences, the inheritance astonishing, strength terrifying. That was why the setback brought him great benefits. This time, he came full of confidence. Even if he found Huang, he was still going to get revenge, wash away the humiliation of that battle. Right now, he hadn't seen Huang, yet ended up encountering a human with exceptional strength. Killing intent surged within his silver pupils, decisively taking action, not wishing to say too much. I will send you on your way first, and then search for Huang. Martial Heavenly King shouted. At this moment, the nearby foreign creatures were all cheering, believing that Martial Heavenly King would inevitably win, that there wouldn't be any suspense. He wouldn't lose a battle at the same level. It was because he was known as a Heavenly King, ranked fourth among the ten great young experts, a disciple of an undying being. Sure Hao's lips curled into a smile, revealing his snow-white teeth. He didn't say anything either directly rushing forward. He was going to kill this person here, cut down this foreign heavenly king. Brother Wu, you were here. Haha, <laughs> after you kill this person, let's go look for Huang together. Right at this time, a pair of identical creatures appeared, both of them having two pairs of arms, hair like vipers, not the normal long hair. Their entire bodies were a light golden color, as if cast from gold. Moreover, there was a pair of golden wings behind them that released brilliant splendor. Feather Snake Clan's twin kings have also arrived. Someone cried out. They never expected two more of the ten great young experts to also arrive. These were the two experts ranked seventh and eighth, twin brothers. They came from the same clan, known as the Feather Snake Twin Kings. They were extremely famous. The brothers both ranked within the ten great experts, making the youngsters of the various clans all feel reverence and admiration. Sherhal laughed, his smile becoming more and more resplendent. He said to himself, you all really are in a rush to send yourselves to death. Could it be that I'll be able to wipe out a small half of the ten great experts in one go? What did you say? The others couldn't hear it, but Marshal Heavenly King who rushed forward heard it very clearly. I was saying, 
You all should just join hands, or else there isn't the slightest chance. Sure how laughed loudly. Then, his eyes became ice cold, about to kill all of his enemies. Woo, so lively. This king has also come. Right at this time, another youngster hurried over, also a foreign king, another one of the ten great young experts.